I got connected with Def Jam. My NR had reached out to me on Instagram through DM and shit. I thought he was a catfish, so I ain't replied to him up until like a couple of days later. I had DM him. I'm like, man, let me see what this nigga here for. Cause this DM just sitting there. I'm like, I was, I, I, even though I might skip over somebody's DM, I'll probably go back to it and then reply back to it late because nigga don't be feeling like replying to it right then at that moment. I hit him back up and shit. He like, yeah, da da da. I work for Def Jam. I, Steven Victor, he like, shit, you'll be, you willing to sign with a record label? I'm like, it depends. He like, would it depend on, depend on what? And I'm like, shit, terms and numbers. He like, all right, shit, da, 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 I'm trying to see what's up again. You flew out uh, to have a meeting and shit. The whole time, I'm still thinking this nigga a catfish because he ain't got no pictures on this Instagram for real. Him or nobody famous or none of that shit. No followers for real. I guess in his bio, he said his last page got hacked. When somebody got a fake page, I automatically think they gonna put that in their bio. So I'm just like, man, this nigga a catfish. Then, long story short, I just remember him texting my, he uh he he texted me or some shit, cause I had gave my number and shit. I gave him my number and my uh, manager number. So he, he texted me. He like, yo, bro, I just played Nasdaq for the office. I mean, for the for the staff at the office and shit. They they feeling you. They like that shit. I'm like, uh uh, let me see. I try to Facetime me. He ain't answer. I'm like, man, this nigga faking, bro. This nigga a catfish, bro. I'm like, bro, no, you, I ain't even trying to talk to you no more, bro. Any, you got anything else to say to me, bro? Just go to my manager. So he he sent me a picture, uh, him, not him, but a whole bunch of executives and people that work at the label and Steven Victor sitting at the table and shit. That's when I knew it was real. Once he sent me that picture, I'm like, oh yeah, for sure. Then I remember my manager like. Shit, it's around time where it was all type of shit going on. You feel me? I don't wanna say it was going on, but it was all type of shit going on. So my manager like, bro, something gotta shake. I was about to go to uh, to Atlanta to go down there and fuck with Casino. Casino like my uncle and shit. I was about to go down there and fuck with Free Band Casino and Future Now. Right as I'm getting ready for my flight, I'm finna get ready to leave. I get a call like, they about to fly us out, have a meeting, that's down da da. I go out there and see what's up. Uh, one thing Steven Victor taught me when I told him when, at the at the rap camp shit when we was in LA, I told him like, bro, you don't know how crazy this shit feel. Like, bro, this shit every day I wake up, but this shit be unreal. Like, bro, it's a dream come true to, and it's a blessing to be in this position. Like, I just want to thank you. He be telling me like, man, bro, this is just the beginning. Like this shit right here, this this shit that you seeing, this this baby shit. And when I think about that shit, I'm like, bro, if this only baby shit, then where, you feel me, where, where, where this shit gonna take me? So that shit stuck with me. Paul Rosenberg, we, we, we haven't had a long conversation yet, but I know we clicked from the first conversation we had. Feel me? Paul fucking with me, I'm fucking with Paul. Shout out Paul too. Basically, in shorter words, you just say, keep doing what you doing, that shit. I'm liking that shit. That's why I say I fuck with Paul. Shout out Paul.